of Connecticut are taking a stand against sexual assault and harassment in an unusual way, addressing provocatively to show that just the way they dress does not mean yes. News aide's Bob Wilson joins us live at the event with more on their initiative. Bob. Yeah, the rally is just wrapping up. They have made a lap earlier around campus right now, and they are dressing down, taking off some clothes to bring awareness that the fact that how they dress does not mean yes. What they're saying is, is that you need to respect the person for who they are, no matter how they dress or what they do at a party. They say no means no. Now, they say this event is to raise awareness around campus because they need to change what they call a rape culture in Yukon. It's called slut walk not because, you know, it's not a blanket term. It's just us reclaiming that term for ourselves because it's a term of violence that's been used against women for years and years and years. I went to bed. I'd taken my contacts out. I'd put pajamas on. And the next thing I knew, I woke up and I was being raped. That's Tyla right there, and uh, she told a brave story in front of the whole group about the sexual assault that happened to her. She says that she, there were also more victims up talking in front of the microphone openly about what happened to them. It was almost an hour full of testimony, people saying this needs to change. And uh, the president of the university has released an email saying that they have made change in the last year. As a matter of fact, they added more Title IX investigators looking into these kinds of incidences. They have a dean just for student relations so that people can go there, get help. Victims can get help. They can investigate it. And also, they say they now have the Yukon Police Department has a special victims unit to handle sexual assaults. So they're preparing on all fronts here on the Yukon campus. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live, News 8.